serious, man. I was gonna pull right over and stop, but I was high. <laughs> now I'm a paraplegic and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, cause I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. What a week we're having. General Dope Hips can finally celebrate as use of ganja has officially been legalized in South Africa. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> They're not that chill, so they haven't had any yet. It might get awkward, though, when we get the land back because we'll be quite woke but too high to work the land. On the plus side, we might be all chilled on this land issue. DJ's Boo has announced that Mzek Ezeke is making a comeback. Hey, maybe we should invite both Boo and Mzek Ezeke to the show. Much like Superman and Clark Kent, we have never seen them both in one room. Also, how do they synchronize their weight loss? Hmm? Mwah, we're not stupid. Get out of here. You're one person. How? Well, Boo, since Mzek Ezeke is your imaginary friend, where do we pay him? Oh, in your bank account. Oh, I see. Another one who should get out of here is Tanzanian Speaker of Parliament, Job Ndugai. This week, he banned female MPs from using fake eyelashes and fake nails. <coughs> Yo! <coughs> oh. How are the lady MPs supposed to slay, Malone? Eh? I think this guy is just bitter. He's tired of going to bed with Kanyimba and waking up next to Zodwa Waban. It's much like Zbu and Mzeke Zeke. Have you ever seen Kanye and Zodwa in the same place at the same time? Think about it. What are you booing, man? One wears lots of makeup, one wears no makeup. And then someone, please explain to me, why would anyone watch Set It Off with their friend and then let it happen in here and then decide to rob a shop at Clearwater only to get spiked at the boom gate? Take a look at this. This is sad. you in their heads those girls that's what was happening hi askis oh did you guys hear as well that retail and furniture sales have gone up in south africa well i think it makes sense i mean if you're going to buy that many clothes they are going to need wardrobes too also speaking of buying power a student was found with 10 million rand at the airport in her bag it turns out this student was studying for a doctorate in sha 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 Olology. She, uh, well, we wish her luck. Uh, can just can can someone from NAFSA just check and, and, and double check if nothing is missing that side? Because hey, we know you guys and your zeros. We have a great show tonight. We have two proudly South African guests: our very own Miss South Africa, Tamron Green, and SA cricket star Karisa Rabada are in the building. We end off with a performance by Bianca Blanc. But first, my Glenn, what's the WTF of the day? Thank you so much to me and happy Tuesday to everybody and thank you for watching. Today's WTF of the day is Welcome the Five, a hospital in Fosleris. Just listen carefully, guys. It now it announced that recently, in fact, very recently, the successful birth of the Butelezi quintuplets. Quintuplets, that is five. The first one is called Sianda. The second one, Sibakle. The third one, Simesihle. The fourth one, Silandile. And the fifth one, Sindisiswe. The fifth one should not have been called Sindisiswe. The fifth one should have been called Sikredile. Ka. Ka. Come on, think about it. Hi, Tina Situgile. But congratulations, Mama. If there was anyone who deserves the land, uh, it's, it's you, because we know exactly what you need it for. There is a lot of children. My first guest is a sixth-year medical student and also happens to be the reigning Miss South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cameron Green. 
Oh, please don't tell me your crown fits in there. Wait, oh, this thing makes so much noise. Did you fit your crown in there? Glenn, because it looks huge. Good. Is it like a foldable? It's with Glenn. Ah. Oh, I do have a, I do have a crown, but first I but have first, a drink. But first, what are you drinking? Okay, so okay. Tamron, you're very, you're, a, you're a passionate South African. You're passionate about our health. You're passionate about our country. So I've made this a passionate fruit and lemonade. Oh, so please enjoy that all lovely. the way. From. <laughs> This is oh, very nice. We've never experienced this before. No, there's love on this show, shame you. There's more. <laughs> but now tell us, did you really bring us your crown? Yes, I did. Yes, it's in this beautiful... Did, did uh, she come with like 10 security guards? I and am two security cops. guards. Purple box. Oh, really? Yes. Already. Okay, so now why have they They're chosen... They're trying to train you in that as well. Why have they Really? <laughs> Are you being serious right now? <laughs> No, I'm just so I'm like, oh, now I want to be okay. South African. Why is it in a purple box? Surely it should be the South African Purple color. royal. Ah, royal. Right. royal. Okay. okay, so what, do I You're open do it? Do, do I bow? Do I curtsy? No, no, no. You can just do open I it. I just open it? Okay. Yeah. You want to put so. it on the table while you Oh, do wow. That? I thought a dear van Heerden was going to pop out from there, but no. <laughs> ah. It's too tall to fit into that. Okay, now what do I do? Do I take it out like yes, this? Yes, please. Oh, wow. Okay. This is amazing. Can you feel okay. how heavy that is? Yeah, I feel like there's quintuplets in there. Do you want to have a... <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, beautiful. This is go. gorgeous. You know, I've seen this crown once before um, when... Someone can put the back in it. I think Adia brought it, no. Was it Demi Lee? Anyway, because anyway. I've met them. Yeah. And um, yes. I'm still, when I see it, I get goosebumps and the breath runs away. It's beautiful. What's it like when it gets placed on your head? It's surreal. It's... Really? I'm I sorry, I don't know why I'm still here. I don't, know how, to, place. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, actually. But it's heavy. But your head is so small. You can small. feel it. You can feel exactly. But there's this inner lining that they kind of adjust yes. according to everyone's head. Yes. So. Please put it on. Okay. Ta da. Oh. <laughs> oh does something in you change when you put it on? It does. Okay, can you give us a lot of numbers? <laughs> Three, seven, six, five. I hope everyone's writing this down. Yeah, you better write this down. I'm not sharing the, the winnings with you. And fun thing that we learned, guys. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get into the crown, it finally stopped. It it's on Truth. Dip It. No, it's on Dip It. What is it? So in Dip It, you have to do the Vosho or Twerk. So you're going to have to take that crown off. I almost thought I'd have to dip it. Oh, you're gonna, yes, you're going to dip your booty. So I would put okay. the crown down so we don't lose it. Okay. Uh, with due respect to all the queens. And you have to either Vosho. What's Vosho? Or like booty hop. Sure. Are you oh. going to demonstrate? You're using me. I see how you do. Are you going to demonstrate? She's clever, this one. Please demonstrate for her how to vosho or how to booty, so how to so booty drop. Uh, or so work. the vosho, and I'll do it slowly because the knees aren't very good. But you go down like this, mm. okay? All the way down to okay. there. And then you extend this leg out. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bring that big leg out. And then ah. you <laughs> That's how it works. Ooh, am I going to try this on heels? In oh, heels, no. Wow. I respect you. I respect you so much. Anyway. Okay. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Ayo! Oh. 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 Yes! When I get. Put the sizzling. Ah. Good. Ah. Good. Good. Ah. Yo! Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll You're take so that. Good. I'll take that. Is that okay? That was beautiful. Yeah, okay. Like Is there like a gym routine involved in your life? Because you are quite. I love dancing. Oh. Yes. Is that your vibe? I, I love dancing. And you still get to do a lot of dancing as myself? Not as much. You have to behave yourself. Not as much as, yeah. I, yeah, as I'd like to. Okay. Uh, I want to... Yeah? No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, no, because you were looking... South Africans come into the show, we get a bit choked up. Usually, yeah. we're very professional, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, you started off modeling in church. That's when you started yes. tweeting and owning it. Miss Emmanuel. Miss Emmanuel. Yes. Is there a bikini section, there, swimsuit there is, section? No, or there's no Is it a section, section with long... It's skirt, long dresses and ankle? like a... A semi-formal So is it the, like the best ankles win? Because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> must be, like, well, covered up because the domini doesn't want to. I <laughs> don't know. I don't know. I was first princess. Yeah. And then you've, had, you've got like eight titles since then. So then I took part in my school, high school. Won that one. I did like my district. Yeah. Miss Drakenstein. What else did I do? A lot. Do you have the list? I, we've got the list, but it's a lot. 
it's late at night, it's a lot. You won't remember. <laughs> but tell me this, did your mother encourage this because she knew how smart you were? And this wasn't something you'd really rely on? Mm -hmm. Or was she just like, yes, my baby, you're killing it, let's Go. keep going? You know, it wasn't particularly my mother. It wow. was other family members or just friends of the family that would be like, your daughter should do modeling. Yeah. And I think everyone thinks beauty pageantry is modeling. So in, automatically, my mom was like, okay, let's do this. Let's try this. And yeah. she enjoys it. Yeah, and she's you know? your mother, eh? My mom. You've got beautiful. your mom's genes. She is gorgeous. Don't tell my dad. <laughs> but it, she's beautiful. I've, I've always wondered though, right? What does Miss South Africa do on her day off? Look at your dad. Is that your dad? That's my daddy. He's like oh a Cape Tonian George Clooney. Yeah. Ooh. Proper. <laughs> You'd love to hear that. You've got a nice combination <laughs> eh, of jeans. Yeah. Hey. Well done. He's handsome. <laughs> he is. He is. He's, he's got it. Um, I've got some uh, gloves for you, okay. Cameron. Uh, uh, in case you, no, is that a bad... No, because you Are never we bringing know. up the past? <laughs> why, Glenn? No, why? I'm not sure whether you use them or not. Are you meant to? Are you not? Because now you're on Twitter and then everything's and going crazy. And in case you want to be charitable and be careful at the same time. Yeah. So in case you need them, I'll leave them over here <laughs> for you. Okay. <laughs> now that Glenn is nice and spicy, let's go to an ad break. We have more with Tamron when we return. Welcome back. This is hashtag WTF to me. Make sure you also keep in touch with us on at WTF to me across all relevant rel 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 socials. I, I'm going to hand this back over because um, legend has it. If you put this on your head and you've never been crowned, you can never slay as a queen anywhere in your life. I can't take that risk. So I will let you take over. But I was looking at the names that have been etched into this. And you guys, these Miss South Africas go all the way back. It's like an ancestry of Miss South Africas. Yeah. Hey, even our favorite is the Lizelle Loris of 2015. It's a sisterhood. We see you, Lizelle. We see you. <laughs> now, you are currently preparing for Miss Universe. Can I ask like everybody at home, because we get confused. Do we have two Miss South Africas, one for the world and one for the whole universe? Okay. Or do we have one Miss South Africa? and then her assistant who's going to go and compete somewhere else. Okay, so we have one Miss South Africa. Which is you. Which is me. Rain, <laughs> our queen. And then you have two representatives for Miss World and Miss Universe. So oh. I won the representative role for Miss Universe as well. Okay, did you get to choose? Did you go, I, I, I want to be Miss World? No, the judges had to decide okay. who they thought would be best for yeah. which competition. Okay, and do you think one of them requires more smarts than the other? Or do you just think it's just two different brands? I think it's just two different brands and personalities. Yeah. Um, so Miss Waldy is very humanitarian, very charity directed, beauty with a purpose. Miss Universe is also humanitarian, but also woman empowerment. It's like career woman mm. style, but a glamour, it's a whole combination. Like a doctor about to finish her doctor, her doctor <laughs> things. Something Ooh. like that. And then there's Miss Earth. Is there? Is there? Is that also a thing? Yes, Miss Earth. Miss Earth is, is also. That, a thing. Is that what? Is that for? The that is for the planet and for environment and greenery, all of that. For, so the, we have, we thank them for the dacha. <laughs> <laughs> no that, comment. Thank you, Miss Earth. We appreciate your kindness. <laughs> and we appreciate your thanksgiving. No comment. Com Sorry. Okay, so this is how it works, guys. Just to be, uh, to be clear, so if you are Miss Universe, you can't be Miss South Africa. Had you been previously crowned as second princess before Miss South Africa, hasn't been uh, Miss Earth, but before Miss Universe can take over Miss Earth after the second reign pre-1996. <laughs> after that, you can easily be all three or none of the above. He's having a whole moment. So are you in the WhatsApp group? Are you in I'm the Miss in South the WhatsApp. <gasps> Who's the admin? I have no idea. I don't actually know. Do you just wake me. up and you, there you were? I woke up and there I was and it was just message. Who was the first person who messaged you? I think it was Margaret. Margaret was the person that was like in the group. Yeah. Yeah. But like everyone has been congratulating me now about my sorry cover. And it's just, it's so cool. Is it and, you, and like everyone tells their stories in the yeah. group. And I'm just like, I can't believe I'm actually. Is it is like the funniest piece of advice you can share with us that you found on the WhatsApp group? Because um, I'm sure it's quite chilled there. 
it's chill, but I don't know. I don't know if it's funny. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And, and tell me, is it, does it get ugly, though, in the competition? Like, do people try and sabotage you? Like, you find a tear in your dress, or you find that somebody colored your hair, or they stole I've your I've heard lipstick. those stories, but there was none of that in my year. Do you think they were scared of you? No. <laughs> I think we were all just really chilled, great girls who were having a good time. Oh. And I believe that once you're in South Africa, there are rules as well to how you carry yourself. Because mm -hmm. now you're representing the country. You can't just. Yeah. One minute you're showing what, what. Um... Are we allowed to know who your bay is? Or are you not allowed a bay? Must you be like, bay, it's over, I'm running the country for a year? No, you are allowed a partner if you had a partner when yeah. you entered. It's just, it's about, you have a new brand now, you have a new job, you are representing your country. And, and does and this guy fit the brand? <laughs> <laughs> that is Hadrian. I call him Potato. Potato! <laughs> So that's not Bay. No. You know what you call their no. Bay a potato? Okay, he is my Bay. He's oh, really? He's my Bay. Oh, and that's yeah. you guys on the horses. Yes, he's lovely. Oh, wow. He's lovely. Okay. And he understands. Because the thing is, when you enter this competition, you need to tell them, this is what I'm getting myself into. You need to understand. Let's see what she's getting herself into that we need to understand in her DMs. Let's play hashtag top. Oh, goodness. So the way this game works, Tamron, okay. is that we are going to spin a wheel that's on the screen behind you right there if you take a quick look. Okay. And wherever that little blue arrow lands, we're going to interrogate three things. So if it's on your bag, we'll dig through your bag. Okay. If it's in DMs like your Insta and your Twitter, we are going to read them out loud. Okay. Now you ready? Okay. Okay, let's see what's sponsored in your handbag. Okay, May we, so I may pass we? it to you. Yes, please. Prepare me. Okay, is this yours or is this part of the package of the stuff you want? It's Lipo. It's one of my sponsors. Oh, wow. So you have to always be carrying your sponsorship around. Not always, but okay. I love the bag. Ladies? Water. Water all the time. Yes. They also sponsor you. Water or vodka. It's very, very, very fancy. It smells minty inside. I have to say it because I've never opened a handbag that just... Arrives with a seat. Um, <laughs> oh, wet and wild, girl. Is that a description of you, perhaps? We don't know. So this is you. You have to. That's your face. Always have to be beat. It has to be. Oh, is this you, not plastic makeup have... artist? <laughs> no. You see, it depends. Sometimes you run behind yes. on the schedule, and then yes. you need to kind of help yourself. Like that time you overslept. Did you make it to that early morning meeting or not? Which one? When you were tired and you couldn't wake up, and no, you I always make it to my meetings. I'm a very punctual girl. Yeah. All right. So are, Wait. There any, are there any of the gifts that you have won that you haven't used yet? Um, no. <gasps> You've okay. used all of them. What's your favorite? Uh, the car. The car's you probably I've never a car. So I think it's... That helps. A lot. Getting you from A oh, to B. Oh, this is so cool. Are you allowed to walk around without it? And it's just my baby. Or is this in case you're driving too fast and the cops stop you and you just throw it on real quick? like... Officer, no. <laughs> you don't use it to take advantage of people. No. Do you want to put it on? Am it? I allowed? Yes. It won't affect my slayage in life. No. Okay, I will use this to make I'm my. I'm supposed to put it on you. Oh no! Please, yes. <laughs> She's just okay. She's just taking the title. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the queen of WTF Tumi 2018, Tumi Moraki. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Um, there we go. Um, um, I'd like to say I'm sorry I ate the other contestants. I didn't do uh, too. It was a long pageant. Please take me back to stay, Glenn. Wow, I'm staying with newborns to me. The Take Me Back Tuesday today is 101-year-old Italian Antonia Varandella. She recently gave birth to her 17th child, 17th, guys, the father of whom is a 26-year-old man. Now, I don't know what's more disturbing, a 26-year-old that's tapping uh, the 101-year-old or <laughs> the baby or the 17 children. I seriously don't know what's going on. Too. Wow, uh... 
All I'm saying is, if she was South African, she would be in the Sasa Hall of Fame, Baba. Because she can collect a pension and a children's grant at the same time. A 26-year-old with a 101... <laughs> that is not a Ben 10. That is a Ben 100. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what my big thing is, on a serious note, what is she going to breastfeed that child? Powder milk. <laughs> <laughs> Dust, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> My second guest is the SA Cricketer of the Year for 2018, also ranked second in Test Bowling. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn's personal hero, welcome, Kahiso Rabada. Hi, he's a spinner for sure. Ah. Um, Glenn, what so, is our guest? So, KG, I'm not sure if you know, but a loosener in cricket is referred to an inaccurate ball early on in your first over. A loosener on WTF to me is referred to this drink, uh, which I've called an LBW, which gets you lacquer, okay. buzzed, and woohoo! Okay. That's what it stands for. Right. So, enjoy it. I Thank think you. you. I think it's it's your drink. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. I'm a big fan. You know what's excited. interesting is that his handshake is very gentle, his hug is very gentle, and then he just kills that wheel. Like yeah, he yeah. just goes into play mode. Yeah, I think we'll find out by next week. Monday, <laughs> what that, uh, but that was an interesting song choice you came on to, by the way. Um, actually, being honest, I don't think I chose that song. Hmm? But you know. I know that song. And I, I told you that you it. picked it because you love DJing vibes. You know what? It's okay. I, I still enjoy that song. It's a little song yeah, that's right. nice to, to listen to. Yes, I actually it chose. Fire. I actually chose Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Really? Yeah. Is that your current jam right now that was playing in your head? It's not a current jam. It's just I was speaking to uh, the, the person who organized this and they said, you know, you need a song. So I said, okay, just go with that one. Yeah. Because I think it's a cool. But story. what do you like jamming to? Because I mean, Insta stories, yes, they disappear after 24 hours, but the brain records. Yeah. And you've got a lot of videos that you post where you're chilling with DJs in the DJ booth and having a good time. And what kind of music are you into? Well, I'm into like rap, hip hop, but like I'm from a very like musical family with yeah. DJs and producers and singers. And so for me, my music taste goes really deep. Like I can listen to Jimmy Bluzu or jazz or, yeah. but right now mostly I'll listen to like um, uh, house music because that's what I DJ as a hobby. Yeah. And uh, some rap music, um, deep or not so deep. Yeah. But yeah. What rap, do you listen house. to uh, when you're warming up sure. just on the bus before you're about to head into a big test match? Uh, I, I think something that, if that gets me going. Uh, yeah, just to get me nice and hype, nice and awake. Mm. Or perhaps I feel like I need to calm down. And I don't know, you can listen to anything, maybe some classical. Depends on how I feel. I something that calms you down. Yeah, funny enough, because I was going to ask you that. Like when you decided I'm bowling this guy out, I'm going to take this guy out. <laughs> what song, what jam is playing in your head? Or are you like so focused, there's nothing except you and that guy? Um, sometimes... Uh, when sometimes the song doesn't come to my head. Actually, most times it doesn't. Sometimes, like, I'll, I'll listen to a song because bowling has to do with a lot of rhythm. Mm. And so, like, I'll try get... <laughs> it sounds <laughs> weird, but I'll try get, like, my action in with the rhythm of that song to get some rhythm ah. in it. But that's very complicated. But, South uh, Africa, yeah? yeah? Anyway, carry on. South Africa, I see a new dance coming. It's called the Rabada. And it's got something to do with bowling. <laughs> I know you're working on it right now, so it was finest. It's time for another break. We'll be right back. What's in here? This is hashtag WTF to me. And yes, you are on SABC3. We are continuing our conversation with Tamron Green and Gahiso Rabada. Am I saying your, your surname? I, I feel very insecure about your surname. Is it Rabada, Vel? 
Yes. Rabad. Yes, it's it's actually a vendor. It's vendor surname. My oh. father's vendor. Oh, okay. Yes. No, I felt very. I was. Eh? Sorry. No, I was gonna. I'm like green Rabada. And you're like, hey, this one. One of them is a trap. Oh, we didn't get into where you landed, and it looks like you landed on stripped down. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to take off a clothing item. A clothing item. Your cap does not count. Uh, <laughs> my shoe. <laughs> you can take your jacket off since we're hot. <laughs> Hi, extra audience members. <laughs> you st you started the year off ranked as number one, right? Yeah. Do you feel it when you get bumped down to number two? Or are you still like uh, still in the top three? Like it works on a point system. So like if you're not playing and someone else is playing who's maybe close to you or who's number two, in this case, Jimmy Anderson, he's, been, he's just played five test matches. And so you really, if you, so when I play a game, I'm gonna have to see if I can jump in the game. I... But I feel like I don't really look at that. That's just a bonus. No. But I did start, I wanted to become the best. Uh, that was my ambition, but now is to stay there. So, obviously, it means that I need, the gap needs to be bigger. But I'm not focusing on the rankings. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I wanna, oh, no. Sorry, I want to take uh, us back six months ago to March mm. when we were uh, we, we we played in Australia. It was probably one of the most controversial test series of all times of all time. It started off with you getting into a bit of cuck with that sort of shoulder thing, and then you got off, you got Dali and Porfu, who Tumi has on speed dial, <laughs> to get you off. And then the famous or infamous ball tampering happened. I don't know why I went ball tampering. <laughs> but what, what is it like to be involved in such a controversial test series? I mean, you saw Steve Smith when he left the airport, it was like he was a criminal. There was like, there were mounds and mounds of photographers. How was it for you guys just to focus on the, the, the game and getting, getting the job done? I think like there was a lot of controversy because uh, Australia playing against Australia is is uh, it's personal. It gets personal and it's it's very serious. And there's no one in world cricket who doesn't want to give it to them. And they know they're coming to us. They know that we're also not going to back down. They know that we're a strong team, and we know they're a strong team, and that they're going to be hard on the field. And we're just beating them in Australia against the odds, if you'd like to say. Um, and I just feel that we got really G'd up for that test match, and the emotions just just piled out. It started in the, in the first test match where there was a lot happening. Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, the, the infamous PE test match that included <laughs> myself <laughs> that have being a bit uh, controversial on the field. Yeah. But you know, it's in the game. Um, outside of the game, I've got no uh, issues with anyone. Okay. But in the game, it gets it's competitive. Yeah. Everyone's competitive. You want to be better than the other guy. Other guy wants to be better than you. And it's just top class players. Sure. But the ball tampering incident, uh, no comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing it safe. He says no comment. Let's just get into a game then. Right. So this is how it works, guys. This game's called Wordgasm. All right, how it works is that there are words behind those numbers, okay? You have to explain the word to your partner in 30 seconds, all right? If you get through all the words on the paper, you turn, you put it down and you get to the next one, all right? Like 30 seconds. Like 30 seconds, okay, right. Uh, the guys who are guessing, please stand here. We're gonna play girls versus boys. So KG, you can join okay, Tumi. You can join me. Tam, you are, you're not on my team, but you are guessing okay. with me. All right, and Tumi and Tam, you guys, can, girls can go Which first. Which number should we start with, uh, Tam? All right, your 30 seconds starts. It's very quiet in the studio. It's tense. KG's just come in. He's, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's. That age where you're a teenager yeah. and you're going through stuff? 18. Uh, uh, 16. The, what's, what's that group of people? Oh, teenagers. Called? Uh, no, they're teenagers, but what is it? That period in your life is? It's, it's yeah? It almost, almost it, it almost sounds like essence, uh -huh. but it's not that. Um, okay, well, you go and get your breast fixed. Um, Plastic surgery. What, is, what do they call it when it's, it's here? Enhancement. What do they call it when it's here? The, the slang name for it. It's like work. It's like breast job. Another word for... Ah, she missed okay, the job. Okay, it's fine. It's not a good start. Uh, it's not a great start. All right. Can I ask what the answer was? Yeah, there was boob job. 
Adolescent. 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 Okay, oh, it's um, all right. KG, you know where we are now. We're in a good position here. Okay, they've just bowled three wides in a row. We're looking to gain composure and just start Can we just up. go? Okay, Pick a number. Go. Ready? Okay. Nine, nine. Okay. Ready? Okay. And when... Go. Action. Okay. Um... It's the animals who can fight. Okay, a kangaroo. No, the, 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 the animals who've got their own show. The animals who've got their own show. The, 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 the reptiles. Oh, uh, 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 dinosaur, uh, T-Rex. They've got their own show on what channel? And they're, they're three brothers, three brothers. Uh, uh, Chip and uh, the, uh, dark, the, the Ninja okay. Turtles. Yes, that's it. Well oh, done. Oh, and uh, when you burn something, it becomes? A fire, hot. It becomes, and it turns into? A lit a fire, fireplace. Time. Ashy. Okay, Ashy. They're leading with okay. one. Oh, you could have said Australia, okay, England we'll test match. Okay. And then I would have gone. Sam, you've got this. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. Sam, I believe in you. Come here. Right. Can you come stand next to me? Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Number? Ready. Uh, should we go first? Okay. okay. No, no, we... Let him go first. Okay, let him go first. Okay, we're on one. We can... He has our chance to, up to, to take advantage. Ready. Ooh. Okay, okay, cool. So the um, cartoon character is very strong. Donny Bravo. No. Uh, okay. The sailor. Popeye. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, if you're like, I think it's if you're flirting with someone, you're mingling. Almost right. Right. Letter. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, the 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 fast food chain. The fast food chain with a with that letter. Macking. Yes. Well done. Okay. And then um, okay. If something it doesn't uh, finish, it's what. Oh, that's difficult. I'm Endless done. love. Who comes up with oh, this? Wow. I know, yeah. right? We, okay, well we need to catch up. We need to catch up. They've got three. A yeah, lot. we're on. We're on we're three. On three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's get it. Five. Okay. Nice. I like okay. that. Macking. So not rand, but dollar. When you go the other one. Currency. The other one, not dollar. Pound. Yes. Um, children, tiny children. Toddlers. Throw this when they tantrums. Yes. Well done. Um, <laughs> wow. um, he's a, the best art the ever. Um, Michael Jackson. Yes. Well done. You can go into the okay, next, next one. one. That's, that's an easy one. Um, this is uh, they, they, tell, they say people are this when they are dark on the outside and white on the inside. Coconut. Yes. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> okay. So you got four. 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 Okay, we we won. Again. Sam's done. Oh, is that we it? We won. Oh, <laughs> Sam's no. done. Sam. Oh, so it's not oh. bad um, while the punishment is being handed out, they're going to have to okay. down some tequilas. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Yes, we'll get Kakiswa and Uber. That Relax. was a huge... <laughs> Love your work. What a Welcome terug hier na hashtag DTF. Timmy, thank you for all your boodskappen. Boodskappen? Mm -hmm. Boodskappen. Let's see what you're saying on the socials. Salsi, Salbi. Salbi says that I'm sorry I ate the other contestants' jokes and she. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, glad you enjoyed it. Next, Ben 100. Ah, Tlin. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Funny, Stevie Wonder. Next. Kakisa Ravada's eye and void is, oh my soul, I'm melting on the car. Ha! Ah! That's from Jewel, do you know? Yeah, Jewel. Uh, Jewel is melting for you. <laughs> <laughs> so no. tell me, um, Kakisa Honest, KG, can I call you KG? Yeah. KG, is there anyone who will lose their cool if they see that kind of tweet and be like, oh, you back off right now? Uh, That's only yes or no when we move on. I won't no. ask any further. No one. No. Okay. Ladies, you first. Um, so, Tams, yeah. <laughs> do you control your own social media account or do you have other people doing it for you? No, I control my own. Uh, don't you worry about meltdowns and saying the wrong thing? Definitely. And, definitely. Yeah? Um, but I think it's just, you just need to be yourself. And if people have their opinions, that's their opinions. Oh, wow. And do you, KG? Yeah, I agree with what she's saying. But obviously, um, with uh, social media these days, you have to link it to your endorsements yeah. and also show your personal life. Yeah. But yeah, I just, like she's saying, just try to be, or not try, I'd be authentic. Yeah. Is it, for, this is for both of you. Is there anyone you've blocked on your account? Yes. Mm. Famous or is it all like trolls um, generally? 
so like on Instagram, there are people who, well, there's one person who was really just like bugging me and saying really nasty things. And I spoke to my social media manager. Nasty, like they want you or nasty or attack like you? Like a whole lot of things. Yeah. And it can become emotionally draining. So I spoke to my social media manager about it and she said, you know what, the best thing is if it's really bothering you, block this person. Yeah. Um, and you, KG? No, I haven't blocked anyone. Oh, really? Yeah. You just take it as it comes. Yeah. Okay. Well, in real life, hey, away from social media, I'm curious because now you're doing a lot of photo shoots. Uh, do you see yourself as a model somewhere in the future? Or are you just doing it because the endorsements force you? <laughs> yeah, I don't see myself as a model. It's just that, like you're saying, the endorsements come and yeah. there's certain requirements. You look like you're having fun there. I mean, you're proper owning it. Uh, Tell her that uh, walk uh, is not just a walk. <laughs> that's a proper, yeah. I don't know about that pose, eh? <laughs> but I, wanted to I actually wanted to take that picture off. Then I was like, nah, I did it. It's fun. And look at you shirtless being all nervous when you say strip down. You look like you'll survive. Yeah, but that's, we're in Barbados. On yeah. A boat, on a catamaran. <laughs> so that's suited there. I don't yeah. know if it's suited here. <laughs> so you, who do you call the most when you're away? Uh, probably my family. Yeah. Or my friends, yeah. Yeah. And for you, Tam? When I, who do I call most? Mm. My family. Yeah, because you're based in Cape Town. That's home, right? Yeah. And now you've had to move up because yeah. of the title. They everything. actually call me a lot, so. Oh. <laughs> to check up on, you know, if I'm safe. How are you okay. finding Joburg as a Cape Townian? Because it's tough because the crime, the crime is very, it's hectic here. <laughs> I, I'm feeling you, you can't go anywhere without someone over your shoulder. And then. I'm okay. Are I'm you fine? fine? Yes. Safe in, in. I choose my times wisely. Right. Clever. Okay, good. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, Adia was also from Cape Town. Do you got, does she move into the apartment? Is there a Miss South Africa apartment? Yes. So it's handed over. Oh, Every, wow. I'm in there now. Do you think they ever, like, hide something and they want to see if you'll ever find it before you leave? You know, like the princess and the pea? They hit the pea under all those mattresses, and if you I felt the pea, you're know. real? I don't know. I haven't found anything yet. That's, do you not write something in the cupboards, Adia <laughs> Vasir or something? No. Tamara. So Melinda Bam, actually, because she also stayed there, she pasted up this blackboard at the heart, and it's still there. She's just never removed it. Oh, wow. So it's something we've That's all... That's gorgeous. Well, after all this bonding with our two national treasures, let's find out how much they know about our other national treasures. Right, so while these guys find their way around to the podium, uh, I'm going to explain to them what we're going to do. We're going to ask them some questions about South Africa and give them three options for them to choose uh, a multiple choice. And whoever rings the bell first, um, which we, we don't, we no, no bells now, but it's fine. You just have to say your name. Say your name. Okay. Yeah. okay. And um, whoever says their name uh, is uh, able to answer the question. All right. Tooms, would you like, and the loser has to down a shot of lemon juice. All right. To me, yeah. first question, multiple choice. What is South Africa's biggest export besides our Miss South Africa's? What wow. is South Africa's biggest export? Is it A, platinum? B, diamond, or C, gold? What are we just saying? Just Your say your name if you're ready with the answer. Can you repeat it again? <laughs> what is South Africa's biggest export? Yeah. Is it A, platinum, B, diamond, or C, gold? Tamarind? Yes. Platinum? Incorrect. Oh. Gold. Well done. That's half a point. You, I see what you're doing. <laughs> you're letting me go first. No. no. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Fair play. True. Which one of the following is the South African national flower? No, not me. Is it A, the lily, B, protea, or C, tamarind. petunia? Yes, tamarind. Protea. Well done. The protea lost that like, one. This is the challenge. She, was, she wasn't even finished. Like, she, <laughs> no, she, she said the laugh and tulip. I got it. And I was like, the tamarind. The coming out. Yeah. Tamarind, please let her finish. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, number Pretty three. Complex. How many families in South Africa are recognized as a royal? Is it A, three, B, seven, or C, 11? Yeah. Sorry. Correct yourself. I'll correct myself. A, three, B, 11, or C, seven? Cariso. Cariso? Yes. I'll go with three. Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, wow. Seven. Well done. Correct. Half a point to you, Tamrin. <laughs> what did she get? Oh, so what is it? One and a half, half. Yeah. <laughs> it's very complicated. <laughs> One and a half, half. 
<laughs> okay, right. Which cold drink was first created in South Africa? Is it A, apple tizer, B, stony ginger beer, or C, urban brew? Iron brew. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's going so badly for me. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Between iron brew and... and Appetizer. I think you can only give us one. Well done. Yes, it was appetizer. We're all square at one and a half, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> In which year did South Africa win the African Cup of Nations? Is it A, 2006, B, 2000, or C, 1996? Can I, Tamron? Yes, Tamron, you may. <laughs> It's a dem democratic world. Yes, 1996. Well done. Congratulations. That is the correct answer. Tamron wins it. Love you can give, you can give the shot of lemon juice over fun. to Kahiso over Thank there. You. Are we done? Thank you. I've got one more. Oh, question. sorry. There's oh. one more. Sorry. Okay, let's there's sorry. one more. We should have rehearsed. One for the road. Sorry. What does the word impi mean? Is it A, Zulu war party? B, young child? C, taxi? Ooh. To win it. Kahiso. Yes, Kahiso. I'm not Zulu. Eh? Isn't that? I think uh, young child. Incorrect. Oh. oh. oh wow. <laughs> what are the other two options? <laughs> Zulu war party or taxi? It's a Zulu war, par war party, I think. Yeah. yeah. Tamron, you are correct. KG, the shot is all yours. I, I, need, I need a custodian of Zulu culture to explain to me how a war and a party are in the same sentence. Let's take another break. Glenn chats to Bianca Blanc when we return. Impi! Impi! Welcome back for the last year. Glenn, what are you doing there so with Bianca Blanc? Thank you very much, Timmy. Bianca, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. I heard you rehearsing, and I haven't moved like that in a very long time. That is great. That is, that's the point of the music I make. I want to, I want to get people, yeah. What is the sound uh, before, because for some viewers who haven't seen you before? Um, it's a pop pop sound i write both but the the music comes out pop and and it's just fun good listening songs. influences influences i've had a bunch of influences karen zoid nothing but thieves anything anyone anyone yeah uh, uh, your 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 uh your first single butterflies yes it topped the charts for 12 weeks if i'm not yeah, mistaken did you uh, did you anticipate that or? not at all not at all uh it just it just kind of happened and after that um that's where Jesus started seeing me and as a result of that i um was announced as the new Deezer next artist Deezer priority act in south africa which is crazy <laughs> incredible and you're you're kind of all on your own i mean you you got a session musician with you yeah. but you're a solo act is it yes. does it get lonely out there Sometimes, uh, usually when I'm out performing with a bunch of really cool bands and then I get on stage after them and it's just me with my guitar or my ukulele, it's kind of, it's scary, it gets lonely, but it's also, it's great fun. Is there, a, is there, is there, is there ever an instance where, because us as comedians, and, and I'll probably know this better than Tumi, where we lose the room, okay, and people don't laugh at our jokes. D does that ever happen with you where people just stop listening? It does. Usually in setups uh, like restaurants and stuff where people are enjoying each other's company, they don't always listen der like to you, but they pay attention in the back of their minds. So they do listen, but they don't always like clap hands and stuff like that. Right. So, yeah. A uh, new single that's just come out four days ago? Uh, the, album, the album, my album came out four days ago right. uh, with, along with a new single. It's yep. called Step Right Up. Step right up. Step right up, yeah. What can we expect from that? Hoping, I'm hoping big things, but it's a very fun song. It has a carnival vibe. So, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Incredible. And where can we catch you live in the next few weeks? Everywhere. Well, everywhere. Um, if, if, if someone wants to see me, they can check on my Facebook page. All my events are there at Bianca Blanc Music. I'm also on Instagram and stuff like that. So, if they want to... 
check me out. It's At there. Bianca Blanc Music. Yeah. You guys are going to absolutely love this girl. She's insanely talented. Oh, thank you. I'm going to let you get ready. And while thank I do that, much. to me, over to you. Thank you, Glenn. A big thanks as well to my guests, Tamron Green and Garisa Rabada, for hanging out. Myself and Glenn are back on your screens next week, Monday, with two ladies in comedy, Tenjiwe and Kanye Sabunu. To end things off, here is Bianca Blanc performing Butterflies. Give a butterflies with your